start. Hi everybody, we're Team 21. Today we're going to talk about deep learning based plant phenotyping using mask RCNN. I'm Anne Nguyen. I'm Tupti Sarjay. I'm Rakshita Ranganath. So for this uh, presentation, we're going to go over our problem introduction, data description, methodology, and final model evaluation. The UN in 2019, they identified the need for agriculture output to double by 2050. In order to meet this need, we will need a method to quickly plant phenotype uh, a large amount of plants at uh, the same time, which is currently not the case. So for the project of our goal, uh, for the goal of our project, we want to automate the plant phenotyping by analyzing color images using mask re region-based convolutional neural network, RCNN, and we will identify plant leaves and color and, and plant colors in digital images. Data description. So our data available through Dr. Lobaton's lab, we have 476 color images of soybean plants with, with almost 6,000 annotation of plant leaves and colors. Images were annotated manually using MATLAB GUI and annotations were saved in COCO format for easy access. On the right, you will see an a sample Im of an, an annotated image. For data pre-processing, the image that the raw image that we got uh, were in different sizes and different um, um, <coughs> orientation, but we all resized all of them to 500 by 512 by 512 pixels, key points were mapped onto resized image accordingly, and we remove uh, any image that doesn't have any annotation on it, and finally split the data into training and validation sets. For our project, we decided to use mask RCNN compared to the other uh, techniques such as YOLO or SST because of the accuracy that mask RCNN gives. And now let's get into more details on mask RCNN. This is basically an extension of faster RCNN uh, and uh, it's capable of predicting some segmentation masks on region of interest in a pixel to pixel manner. And mask RCNN can be divided into two parts. Uh, first is the region proposal network, that's the RPN, which is used to obtain object bounding boxes. And then a binary mask classifier that will generate mask for every class. So here the backbone network is used for feature extraction, which is a standard CNN with FPN. Uh, here CNN serves as a feature detector, and this is improved by adding FPN, that is a feature pyramid network, so as to represent objects better at multiple scales. And the network head uh, is basically used for bounding box and mask prediction. And here, um, the image is passed through CNN to generate feature maps. And the RPN generates multiple regions of interests using a binary classifier. So this classifier returns object or no object scores. And uh, this uses anchor boxes to improve the speed and accuracy of detection. This basically generates multiple detection uh, multiple bounding boxes and this is uh, from out of these boxes a single bounding box is obtained by using non-max suppression on iou considering the overlap and the confidence score coming to the methodology uh, we have used a backbone network of resnet 101 and uh, it's pre-trained pre on coco data set uh, which is roughly around uh, 120k images and uh, we have we load the annotations from the JSON file, and we create uh, we create masks uh, as shown in the figure, and we trained the model uh, with a learning rate of 0 0.001, and we fixed uh, the IOU threshold as 0 0.5, and we checked for multiple other threshold values as well, uh, and the results are indicated uh, in the result section. And uh, from the model, basically, we get the output um, of a bounding box, um, the mask, the class, uh, that is, if it's a leaf or a collar, and the confidence score. Here, uh, initially, we tried with uh, the ResNet 50 being the backbone model, and we trained for 10 epochs and 300 steps per epoch, and we uh, got the accuracy of the model. And uh, further to improve the model, we used ResNet 101 as the backbone network with 50 epochs and 500 steps per epoch, and it gave a pretty good accuracy. 
uh, here in the image um, towards the left is the ground truth and um, which shows the uh, leaves and colors marked for uh, the image and towards the right we have the prediction that the model gave uh, here we have detected uh, 11 leaves and four colors in the original ground truth object we had uh, around 11 leaves and five colors so it's uh, I, it's uh, detecting pretty well and um, the confidence scores are better. Now let's go to the results section. The results of fine tuning the model can be validated by loss function. The model here uses binary cross entropy loss function for optimization. For every false prediction of the lo mask loss is compensated. The loss function of mask RCNN combines the loss of classification, localization, and segmentation. Average precision is a popular metric in measuring the accuracy of object detectors like mask RCNN and faster RCNN. The general detection for average precision is finding the area under precision and recall curve. To calculate the recall and precision for an object detector, one more factor is taken into consideration known as intersection over union score. And it is the ratio of overlap and union of the ground truth and predicted mask. Hence, to classify a prediction as correct or true positive, IOU score should be greater than a predefined threshold. An IOU score of 50% is considered good. The table below indicates the AP score of model we fine tune. It is able to achieve average precision of 33.5% at 50% threshold. We tested our model with most stringent threshold and the AP score for 60, 70 and 80% are almost 30%, 5% and 3%. Let us now look at the few examples. The image on the left is the ground truth and the right one is prediction made by the base model. For an object detection and segmentation model, it is difficult to segment out same category objects. The prediction made by the base model not only lacks in number of predictions made, but also struggles with accuracy of mask. Another drawback the base model has is repeated predictions for single object. Here, is, here are the results achieved by the fine-tuned model. We can see the model is able to predict almost all the labels from ground truth, except a few tiny ones at the bottom. The total has, uh, the model has improved precision with which it is able to detect. Also, our model can successfully segment the objects which are clustered. To briefly sum up the project, we would like to report mask RCNN with resonant uh, 101 backbone and MS COCO weight initialization gave significant result. The results obtained can be used to indicate the water stress in plant and can be used for further research purposes. These are the few references we used for our project and that's it from our side.